These are the G43 summary notes on surface area of pyramids. What is surface area? The surface area of a three-dimensional object is the amount of square units that cover the entire object. To find the surface area of a pyramid, you must find the area of each face and then add the answers together. So this is the same as when we found the surface area of prisms and cylinders. Parts of a pyramid. The height of the pyramid would be the height from the center of the base to the very top. The height of the triangle or one of these faces would be actually slanted. That is the height that you'll actually use for the area of those triangles. You will only use this height of the pyramid for volume, not surface area. The side length of the base right here will help you find the area of the square on the bottom of a square pyramid. You need to be careful because the height of the pyramid, which is right here, and the height of the triangle are not the same. Do not use this height of the pyramid when trying to calculate the area of the triangle. Turn your notes to the next page. Here's one type of pyramid. This is a square pyramid because it has a square on the bottom. On the, bo on the base, there is a 4 meter by 4 meter square. The height of the triangle on the side here is 6 meters. That's one of the lateral faces. A square pyramid has five sides. If you look at each side, you will notice that one side is a square, which is on the base, and all the other sides are triangles. You will need to find the area of each side by using the correct formula and then add the answers together to calculate the surface area. However, on a square pyramid, you only need to find the area of one of the triangles and then multiply by four because all of the triangles are the same size. How do you know all the triangles are the same size? I want you to think about this, write your answer down, pause the video, and then press play to check your answer. We know all of the triangles are the same size because they all have the same base and the same height. If we look at the shapes of the faces in order to find the surface area, you can see that we have one square and four triangles. To find the area of the square, you just take the side and square it. To find the area of each triangle, you're going to take one half times the base times the height. So we have side squared plus one half base times height plus one half base times height plus one half base times height plus one half base times height. Because those are all the same, you could also think of it as taking side squared plus four times one half base times height because all the triangles of the pyramid are the same. So now I want you to look at this pyramid above and actually find the surface area of it. Remember to label the answer with the correct units. Pause the video and then press play to check your answer. For the base or the square on the bottom, we're going to take 4 squared to get the area. For each of the 4 triangles, we're going to take 1 half times 4 times 6. When we actually square the sides of the square and take 4 squared, we get 16 for the area of the base. For each of the triangles, 1 half times 4 times 6 equals 12. So we have 4 triangles with an area of 12 and 1 square with an area of 16. To get the total surface area, we would add those together to get 64 square meters. Turn your notes to the next page. A triangular pyramid has 4 sides. If you look at each side, you will notice that each side is a triangle. You will need to find the area of each triangle by using the correct formula and then add the answers together to calculate the surface area. So looking at the shapes of the faces, we have three triangles, one on each side for the lateral faces and one triangle on the base for a total of four triangles. 
for each of the faces, the area is 1 half times base times height. Now I want you to find the surface area of this pyramid. Make sure to label your four triangles with the base and the height to find the area of each and then add them together. Press pause on the video and then press play to check your answer. So if you look at the triangle on the bottom, the base is 20 and the height is 5. The triangle on the front, the base is 20 and the height is 18. The back right triangle, the base is 18 and the height is 15. And the back left triangle, the base is 16 and the height is 15. So we take 1 half times base times height for each of these triangles, we will get the surface area. So take some time right now to calculate that out and then add them together to find your surface area. The total surface area would be 50 plus 180 plus 135 plus 120, which equals 485 square meters.